Hello everybody, I'm Peter Finch, this is Joe Miller, and this is a smash it as hard as you can course vlog. There you go. <laughs> Everybody, we're down here at Hanbury Manor with Mr. Joe Miller. Joe, lovely to see you, mate. Thanks for having Absolute me. Absolute pleasure to be playing with you already today. If you've not seen the Callaway giveaway video, make sure that you check that out. And we're going to have, well, basically playing to your strengths here. So if you don't <laughs> win this match, like. I'll never live it down. Never, ever. Never live it down. Ever live it down. I can see the comments. I will make sure of it. <laughs> we're going to play a four hole match here on the back nine, but the rules are simple. Off the tee, got to hit it as hard as we can. So there's no going back to the bag for Joe, getting that six iron and papping a 250 yard shot down it. We are talking four degree drive. Is that your driver driver? This is, actually no, this is a plane driver. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it what, doesn't matter. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut away for one minute and I will, <laughs> Joe's, gonna Stay talk, there. Joe's gonna talk you through his bag. Big wedges covered in the uh, driving range, driving range, uh, Fake grass. There we go. Let's get that one off. You can see that. But the main things are what have we just got today. Brand spanking new. Still haven't actually hit one of these yet, thanks to lockdown. But Maverick, brand new, 8.5. That's the playing head. If I'm feeling, uh, if I'm feeling dangerous, then I could get one of these ones out. What else have we got? That's my normal playing head. That's a five degree. Uh, you wouldn't have seen many of these. This is a epic stroke sort of maverick with the maverick colours. This is what we were designing this year for the long drive competitions. So that's on a playing shaft there. Uh, five degrees, sometimes knock that down to four, depending on what's going on. The long drive stuff, uh, what have we got? We've got Reeve, we've got different type of flexes. This is an S flex, so not even an X. So that's got some kick in it when you're on your game and you know, that's a dangerous one if you, if you get that out. Rest of the stuff, sort of double X. Uh, same heads, this is uh, about two degree loft, two, two and a half, maybe less, maybe more, depending on what we have, but backups and backups, you know that, you know that, you've been there. I've been there. You've been there. I know, I know. <laughs> just, just for you guys who might not know, yeah, right now. Now this is the one. So what is this, mate? This is a um, long drive head, okay. right, first and foremost. Biggest difference about this is it's coming in probably about two and a half degrees. Okay. Maybe two, maybe less, could be one and a half to be honest. Who pays attention at that point? Um, <laughs> What's it gets to that? What does it, it, it matter? Anymore? What does it matter? It's all the same. Uh, 48 inches, so legal limit, what you're allowed. A little bit of flex on this one, so that'll make it even more interesting. Yeah, that's good this, is, uh, this is a stiff. Right, okay. So like everyone, everyone always thinks that long drivers have these four X's and five yeah, yeah. X shafts. Used to be that way, um, but now we're kind of, the, the way these shafts are built now, you can kind of go a little bit more flexible. Uh, get a bit more speed out of it and they just don't I say that now but they just don't break right so but that's the weapon of choice that's what we're going with today awesome and I am going with I put this in the bag just for today Sub-Zero Maverick very nice I've got an X-Flex shaft because I'm you know super strong um, and my full length full length um, I'm not quite as big as you Jack that's no excuse shock, shock to excuse excuses <laughs> already shock to everyone watching I'm Playing not driver. quite as big as Joe <laughs> First hole here, it's got like a little bit of dog leg to the right hand side. It's about 400 yards, so within reach for Joe. Um, and me, of and course. Joe, and and me, of course, obviously. Let's do this. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Fairway finder! Fairway, that's on the green! That's on the green, I'm telling you. I don't know why we're looking, we can't I, even see the I, green. I know, we just have a <laughs> so that, It's up there, it's up there. Legit. <laughs> This is the crazy thing about Joe that I've learned so far. If it's like a 340 yard hole, where yeah, it's like, oh, I'm just gonna learn a little fiddler down it. Like literally off the planet. Harder he swings the straighter it goes. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, that's a lesson for everyone. Lesson number one, hit it as hard as you can, it goes straight. Oh. I, tell you, I have got some top flights you're gonna use. You've got world championship golf balls in there. Oh really? Yeah. Is that what you use, top flight? No, that one, uh, in the world championships, yeah. That was a uh, chrome soft. That's probably uh, changed shape, but. 
There you go. Hey, you've got some flexibility going. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, well, yeah. What's your normal clubbing speed? Uh, <laughs> don't even worry about it. Worry How it. fast do you think you can get it? That's what oh, I'm gonna... I've been up to high 120s. Okay. But that was like a few years ago when I was. Is that swinging spry. at your skin or is that swinging? That within... was, yeah, that was hard as hell. Right. It was, it was great when I struck it, but everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. I'm at, I can get it up about 120 at the moment. Playing around 115, 16? Like just before lockdown, I'd been doing a fair bit of fitness and I was actually was there. I was actually there, but all right, first ball, come on, stay with me. <gasps> oh, it's gone! I don't even know where that went. We're looking fair way. Oh, like, look at that! Oh. <laughs> that drove me there. I honestly, all right, I honestly. I honestly think I might have just hit it past Joe. That was there with a draw. Yours was yours a bit healy spinny? No, oh, mine was perfect. Perfect. So if it did outdrive me. <laughs> Listen, it, it honestly, it, it really, it really isn't a big deal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about this. It doesn't matter to me. All I'm, I'm just happy to be out here playing golf on a beautiful golf course. But ladies and gentlemen, I have just outdriven world long drive champion Joe Miller here. He's never going to let me live that one down. I think he just, I think he just stiffed it. <laughs> It doesn't matter though. I hey, listen. It just went long again. I just can't. Yeah, like, listen. This is what happened. I just can't control you the You long drivers, you got no touch. You got no touch. Oh, just touch around the green's gone. It's just power. It's just raw power. Pace. By the way, the greens okay. here at Hanbury Manor. We're playing just before the European Tour event here. They are pure. They are so, so pure. So after a 482 yard drive, that's a path. Your long drivers are good, but you can't chip and putt. It's all in the short game, boys. It's all in the short game. So come to the 12th hole here, par five, so easily reachable uh, for a couple of man mountains like myself and Joseph Miller. After your incredible wedge shot and putt. That was good, yeah, that was good. I'm not, but your drive, let's talk about that drive that, for a minute. Listen, my, my, it doesn't matter. Like you can drive it well, but if you can't get up and down, what's I'm the point? I'm gonna go with, what's the point? I hit it spinning. Wait, it, it honestly did look a little bit. It wasn't. It did look. But no, no, don't let that take away from no, the fact. I'm, I'm a realist. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take credit where it's not due. It oh, was. It due. spun up. It was a spinner. Six thousand spin. Did spin up. So unfortunately, I'm right in saying this, Joe, that the season's been cancelled for you now, long drive wise. As, as we stand here, yeah, um, got cancelled obviously at the start of the whole COVID thing. Um, and we're they're, they're literally waiting to see if someone's going to put on a world championship for us. Oh, so you're just waiting for like a sponsor? Yeah, wait, well, there. you're waiting for someone to actually take it on and do it because they're trying to, they're basically trying to sell world long drive. Um, and if someone who's got the right uh, you know, resources and yeah, yeah. Has got, uh, wants to take it on and do something with it, then they're going to let them do it. So, so, so it's like the World Long Drive, like a, a brand then, a tour? Or? You're buying the name at that point, yeah. You're right, buying the World okay. Long Drive. I'm pretty sure this was 5.20 or 5.30, and I've got 1.80 left. Quick calculation. Bang! <laughs> and it's another fairway. I am honestly very, very, very surprised at how well I was able to control it. I imagine it's one of those things though, literally could switch off at any moment and the next one could be like a top or a snap hook or anything. 
So I'm going to get six iron here pretty much over the tree, straight at the pin. Oh, a bit of number. A bit of number. Listen, I'm going to enter long drive champs, I'm going to enter stroke play tournaments. I mean, at this moment, I just feel that there's really nothing that can stop me. And I say this as a player who's won down in the match. <laughs> this is where reality starts to bite. So that first drive of Joe's was definitely spinny. This one he hit well. Been walking for about 70 yards and we're just about, just about caught up with him now. Unreal. What are you going in with, bud? Try and keep it under that. I hit a six iron as well, so we're basically the same. What's up? Listen, I can't get away from you. We're both hitting the same club. Well, no, bear in mind, I'm not trying to hit this ball. <laughs> This literally could go, what have I got there, 100 yards? Yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Sure, what, short game, short game is it's a weird one. Putting, putting, I would say, yeah, no good. Yeah, I can hold my own, but nothing. Chipping and chipping around, that's, that's not, uh, it's not a bad part of the game, put it that way. On turn or do something. Alright, eagle time. Eagle time. Eagle time. Oh, line was good. Wow. I'll give that. Oh. Very nice. Whole halved in birdies on what for now is really just a par four for me. It's dog legs right, there's a little little ditch in front of the uh, green. Uh, normally the shot is Lay up to where they are, give you 150, 140 yards in. Unfor we're not playing. That Unfortunately, game. that's not the video. We're for not today. playing that game. I'm surprised. Like, we're, we're two holes in, and we've not lost the ball. I kind of picked that figure of four <laughs> balls, so I'm sure we'd lose a few of them. That was before Joe started to hit it straight as a friggin' arrow. I've always been straight on my long drive swing, so. Always. How do you find two for two? Yeah, two for two, two. Literally my best stats of the year. Driving distance and fairways <laughs> All right, where are you going to go though? Do you know where you're going to go? Over that tree. To be honest, if, you, if you're going to hit it as hard as you can, you're going to hit it as accurate as you are, you'd almost want to go left onto the other hole. Let me just play. Oh, where that guy was. Yeah, right, pretty right. much where there, because then it gives you a flick over. You've got water on the right, uh, short of the green, and with your power, you know, I expect to see you swimming in it. Though, yeah, but... I almost literally lost sight of the ball. Oh, it's, 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 it's actually, all right. Though. Yeah, it's fine. Go straight again. Let me see the bounce. I didn't see a bounce, but it should be all right. It's kind of around that. Yeah, you should be all right. That's the safest place, to be honest. Honestly, got to there. My head turned and I almost lost sight of the ball. How do you deal with that? <laughs> oh, that's got to be close, surely. Oh, what a line. You, I don't know why I'm looking. You can't see over there, so I don't know. Right. Now I'm like, I'm seeing. I'm starting to get that respect. I'm feeling it now. So I've never played with, I've never played with a long drive before. Okay. I've never been up close and personal. You don't want to. No, I mean, you're scared. <laughs> Terrified right now. No, it's not that. Listen, can long drivers play golf? Yeah, of course they can. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, you got you to remember that it's two completely different, you know. Skill, is it skill? Completely different skill. Completely different. They involve the same things. They look kind of similar to a point, but what you're practicing there is, you know, you're not playing, you're not trying to play golf. And when I do think back, obviously there was never an intention to be a long drive guy, long drive champion at yeah. all. So I played decent golf as a kid, I was a good amateur. Um, you know, won the odd, odd club championship when I was, you know, really young. And then how it basically all started was uh, 2003, it was the first ever taste of it. They had a, you know, back then there was no uh, Instagram, there was no social media, so everyone, Every golf club in the country got a letter saying qualify for the World Championships. Okay. Didn't know nothing about it. I had no idea. My dad found the letter at the golf club I was at at the time. So yeah, let's go along to this. It was at Stoke Park, not far from us. Um, went along to it. Sort of saw that there was this little kind of um, sort of almost like a you know a real niche group yeah, of guys yeah. um, just smashing balls miles. They, you know, I turned up. I think at the time I think I had a Titleist 975D which was the hottest driver at the time. <laughs> and I turn up and these guys have got three degree drivers and extra long shot, and I was, I, so I had no idea. Anyway, cut a long story short, went back 2005 uh, for the qualifier. 
Uh, ended up hitting European record 474 yards. Um, won that event. The following day was the actual qualifier because it was like it was two two competitions at the time. Um, so you had the Irish on the Saturday, and then you had the, like the World Championship qualifier on the Sunday. Ended up winning the, both events. Got sponsored. Got flown out to Las Vegas, and that was the first real you know 2005 was the first real taste of what it's like to you know to have that kind of sponsorship and flying around and doing all and then, and it went from there. Fast forward five years, 2010, ended up winning the thing, but I don't know, it was never a goal. It was never something I really set out to do until about 2008. I thought, you know what, I might actually, actually do this. I might actually have a start. Yeah, yeah I, I come the top eight in the World Championships in 2008, hit absolutely terrible in the final. Back then there was a final eight guys that literally just one after the other hit and then the winner was there. Ended up coming last at the top eight. Uh, but you know, it was decent, decent, uh, decent position. And, um, and then from there, Went back two years later, won the thing. Should have won it. Probably, like I say, I shouldn't have won it, but 2011, come third, um, hitting it great. 2013, come second. 2014, come third. 2015, had a blowout, I think top 16 somewhere. I think I think I finished ninth, and then won 2016, and I haven't done as good as that up until now, but uh, there, there's one more, there's definitely one more world championship in there if we have an event. Yeah, yeah, you know, but it's just such a weird thing at the moment. No one knows what's what's going to happen. So again, I'm miles, miles back from Joe. He's, he's over the water and far away. He's almost in the land of Oz. I've got 125 <laughs> yards here, but this is my favourite number: 125. Oh my god, I've absolutely sliced it. Oh no! Keep right. Oh, it's safe there. It's ever since I started my long drive career, my wedges have just, they've really struggled. Right, let's have a look. Sit down, sit down. Spin, spin. Ah, come back. Nah, literally the worst wedge shot I've hit in years. The greens just look so, so pure. I think it's going to move a little bit right to left. Just took too much off it. I'm trying to control the adrenaline. Stay up, stay up. Stay up. Nice. Yeah, you can have that one. Thank you very much, sir. Wasn't expecting this display. The fine ball striking. Yeah, nice, very nice. Very nice. Last hole, one shot down. I'm gonna go first. Uh, Joe's just properly put me in my place and said, you go. It's 380 yard par four, you go. Because <laughs> you can't reach, but I can. Just feels just, so just, emasculated right nah. now. <laughs> just think of that first hole when you beat me, just think of that. You know when I hit that really 6,000 yard no, spinner? No, when you ripped it, well, that spinner, it, when we both hit it well. When we hit it well. When we both hit it well on the first. Ah! I tell you what, I, got a, I like the effort. I do like the effort. That. So that one came out of there, which was entertaining. Oh, that is so you watch oh, <laughs> oh, something on the oh, right. So something on the right. After all that build. <laughs> Just before you stiff this approach, we have an amazing giveaway for you guys. Okay, it is giveaway time, and look at this beauty so this is a us pga special edition tour bag of course it is in the beautiful city of san francisco this year at harding park and this is inspired by that city and by that golf course if you want a chance of winning this bag make sure that you like the video and head over to my social media so at peter finch on instagram and on twitter for more information so this bag but also some head covers as well also inspired by the uspga this is an absolutely money can't buy prize these are super super rare so head over to my social media now and check it out so make sure you enter that giveaway 105 yards now Another very, very favorite distance of mine. However, I'm not gonna be so cocky after my last wedge shot, which I almost put in the water. 54 degree, smooth swing. It's got to go. go. It's got to go. Got to go. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that Stay was, there. That was close to being good, but he's short. It's short. Can't wait eight feet short with him around. Oh, he's got it all. Yeah, pretty tiny. He's got it all. It's all about a short game. That's what you keep telling me. Short game, short game. Not all day, anything all day. We've been waiting for this. Oh, he's giving it the tug. He's giving it a good go. Oh, it's oh. Gone. gone at the end. That is not bad. Oh. Take it away. Right. It's just, just. You've actually liked it. No, you've not. You've got it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just run into just them days. a superior just them days. short game artist, and that is uh, that is Joe Mill. Off the tee, I had him, but just around the greens. That's where he did me. It's all the short game. It's all about the short game. A massive, massive thank you for it. Joe, huge thank you for taking part of this. Yeah, pleasure. Really, thank really you. Appreciate it. Make Thanks sure you me. go over to Joe's Instagram. Make sure you give him a follow and show him some love. And a huge thank you to Hanbury Manor for having us down as well. European Tour venue now. The first European Tour venue. So I've had events here before, like Seniors Tour. Senior Tour. Stuff like that. First time European, yeah. I have to say, great course. Absolutely love it. So if you are in the area, please check it out. Right. I'm going to go work on a short game because I'm one of the longest hitters now in the world. I'm gonna go to the gym, I think. Yeah, you need to bulk up. You need to bulk up.